for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. As a young and do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. Whoa. What's happening though, man? It's Mr. Ben Ben Brack and Fig Newton representing this fast lane shit. I'm letting y'all know to go tap in with the homie G2Bs, Bill Blast over there with that G Connect show. Generation conversation. Good game, good feed. Go on over there and get your belly fed. Yeah, most of all, like, comment, and subscribe. Let the homie know I sent you. Whoa, whoa. All right, this is the Generation Conversation Network. Y'all tap in. It's Jay Killer tapping in with G Connect. Let's go back in a sec, tapping in with G Connect. Check this out. GLA double dollar sign east side. That's right. Glass and Malone. And you already know you're tapping in. G Connect, nigga. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Gay O'Felony tapping in with G Connect. Have a real conversation. Let's get it. All right. Easter deal. It's your favorite east side, nigga. East side K boy. You know what it is. I'm on G Connect with different generations have real conversations. Hey, yo, what up? It's none other your man Richie Evans, Mr. Can't Knock the Hustle himself. And right now I'm tapping in with my homeboy, G Connect. Yes, sir. You here with Chef Boy, man. G Connect, where different generations have real conversations. Let's get it. Speaking of that, can you name three people who've been the most influential in your life? The most influential people in my life right now is first, I'm a star. God. Because, you know, if people don't believe that he can talk to you and you can hear his voice, then, you know, they got some problems, you know what I mean? But that's the most influential person that's in my life because he gave me another chance and, and, and basically aware of me, like, you know, you don't have too many chances to, to, to do what you just placed on this, this earth for, you know? So this is your time to push. Um my family, you know what I mean? Uh, and everybody that's mentally and intellectual can understand where I come from as, as a source of energy. You know, um, in the industry, I look up to people like Nas, um, Snoop, uh, you know, uh, Cypress Hill. I've been knowing them, you know, since I was young. And it's just not about making music, man. It's about building a foundation, you know, on a broader scale, once you be able to come successful and bring in major income with your talent, you know. So them are the people that I look up to, you know. And um, like I said, Nip was, to me, that's my brother, man. You know, before I got indicted, you know, I met Nip. You know, I went up, I talked to Big U, and we was at Crenshaw High, and, and I met Nip, and, and it was crazy because it was like me and him had so much you know, we had so much to lay out and do, but I ended up getting indicted, you know, so that was a situation robbed from me because I ended up getting took away from the picture, but sitting back in jail and seeing that dude actually, like, use actions to lay out what he had in his soul, what it, in his innate, like, what he believed in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He put his life on the line to actually wake up a lot of people you know what I'm saying? And that's something that's real deep to me. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm in the field still. Like, I'm out here. You know what I mean? I'm not living in the suburbs. I'm not, you know, scared to pull up to a nigga set and vibe a nigga. You know, I'm I'm, I'm the same definition of Nick was pushing, but on the Damu side. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he gained success, but he didn't turn his back on his tribe. Right. You know what I mean? And he, he put his heart out there, not only for his homies, but for them kids that's in his community. You know, and he was headed to a, a hell of a, a hell of a place in life. You know what I mean? And even still, since he's gone, he's an impact. You know what I mean? As a black African man. You know what I mean? And that's something that's we all need to look at. We supposed to protect them type of people, man. Them are the people that them are the kings, you know what I'm saying, of our era. Them are the ones that's that's bringing the king out of the other men that's kings that's not really tuned in with themselves. Right. You know? And, 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 and,
it and you see it after the fact, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Like you said, a lot of people seen it prior and that's why it ended like it ended. You know what I mean? But they take those type of people away. They 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 don't last long, you know? And it's unfortunate. Because like you said, we should be protecting them. Tupac, Nipsey's, Biggie's. But, you know, we understand how things happen in these streets as well. Because all those things could have been avoided. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the industry fault, I'll say. It was those individuals around, around them people <laughs> that led them into those situations. Because we all know with Pac's situation. Had the right person did the right thing, that that shit would have never happened. There's no way he should have been able to run and lead the pack of hyenas that surround him. He's not cut from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't from there, but he was around those dudes. And for somebody to say something to him and them yes men around him, allowed him to run off there and put himself in harm's way because evidently that dude wasn't no punk. Yeah. Once, you get to that. Yeah. Once you get to a certain level in your career anyway, you shouldn't. And on that topic, on that topic right there, like, I respect sure. Mm -hmm. respect sure, you know, I respect him. And what I'm, what, the, what I'm going to say it's not a form of disrespect to him. It's just shit that's raw it can get. You know, um, to build a conglomerate, to build a record label like that, to reach the highest peak, there's no way in the world that Death Row or anything that was a part of Death Row was supposed to come like how the way it did. Right? It's a it's, it's a thing called chess, and it's and it, and chess is, you know, a life a livelihood where it's a day to day, you know, tactic of how you got to move pieces on the board. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, is that like situations that that happen by a person feeling like they untouchable? Mm -hmm. Nobody is untouchable, right? Right. Everybody in this world can get touched in some type of way, whether a motherfucker wasn't you, whether, you know, any any type of, you can get touched. It's a way that you can get touched. But that's why I always tell people like this. You can have an attitude that you don't give a fuck, right? And the results you're going to get out of life, it's going to be I don't give a fuck results. Because it's going to be somebody that meets your I don't give a fuck 10 times more than you don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Right? When you're supposed to give a fuck about everything that you have attached to you and that you say that you care for. Mm -hmm. Whether you're my artist, whether you're a producer, whether you're a singer, whether whatever you is. Right? Man. A real motherfucker. Yeah. You know, a real motherfucker that sincerely love you and care, you, care for you it's not just going to let anything or be an anything ass motherfucker around you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to let you do no stupid shit if I care for you. Right. If I can see something 10 steps ahead of the game of the results of what's going to happen out of this, right? Because it's a big possibility when you're doing shit like that, that it's going to be a response. Uh, right. So if you don't want the results, you're not going to place yourself in them situations to get those type of results. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And that's why people don't understand politics. Politics is not in place for you just to say, fuck it, let's go to war. Politics is all the way around rule for war and peace. Mm -hmm. And the individual that know about politics is always going to utilize that balance scale for both. Right. Right. You're not just going to be all beef and no peace. <laughs> right. It's not going to work like that. You know what I'm saying? You have to have peace in every equation at some point in time. Mm -hmm. right. You know? Right. I agree. 
That's why they say pick another day to fight your battles. Why? Because you got to go and recoup, motherfucker. You got to go do some push-ups or you got to, you know, do some squats right. or you got to go get some motherfucking artillery for your motherfucking pistol. You right. feel me? Right, right. If you study going click, click, click and there ain't no bullets and you still saying, fuck y'all, let's go to war, that's not war. Kamikaze. Right. right. You see me? And I feel like Death Row was led in that kamikaze state of mind. You know, and the reason I say that is because the relationships and the shit that I'm seeing with the producers and the singers and how people getting treated, you know, and certain people that then, that supported these classic records, it's not getting a homage, you know, and, and, and they do diligence. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 been hundreds of millions made from off of these, this material and this product, you know, you know, and it, and it's public. It's not something that that's not public. This is public. I'm just speaking on it because my shit is grind ZNT, and whoever I fuck with, I fuck with all the way. I want to see them rich. I want to see their family rich. I want to put my all into being helping them successful. But whoever I fuck with gotta have the drive, right, mm -hmm. in them they self to want to do it. Right. You know, I don't have the batteries over here at my record label to put in your back to do that shit. Right. But I got the resources that I can connect you with for you to become the best you can ever become. And if somebody else is going to assign you that can help you do something better, I'm not going to hold you and stop you from your blessings. Right. right. We still family. So build your own empire and I can come over there and spend the night and wake up and eat some breakfast and still chop it up with you. You know what I mean? And we can share opinions with each other, you know, knowledge with each other, and still be friends without no hard feeling. And that's what people got it fucked up. Motherfuckers want to be vampires in this game and use you if, and oppose as your friend or your brother mm -hmm. just for monetary reasons. And that shit is not genuine. No. Okay, okay. What it do, folks? It's your boy, G2Bs. I like to thank you for watching and continue to watch. And be like Alpha Beta, tell a friend, you know, because this is real conversation. Different generations having real conversations, man. Pass the word on. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch. It ain't nothing but a G thing. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but a G thing. Different conversations with different generations. You gotta keep it G, man. It, G, man. Uh, it ain't nothing but a G thing. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but a G thing. A G, different man. conversations with different generations. You gotta keep it G, man. Uh.